So we're going to look at using the quadratic formula in order to determine the roots of a quadratic function. So this is the quadratic formula, negative b plus or minus, plus or minus because that's giving us the two possible roots or solutions. Um, the square root of b squared minus 4ac, and that entire thing is over 2a. So a, b, and c are the coefficients of each term in my quadratic um, function. So I'm going to write what each thing is equal to over here. So a is equal to 2, b is equal to negative 4, and c is equal to 3. a is the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of x to the first, and c is the constant or the final term in this function. So let's plug all of these in. I'm going to carefully substitute them and I'm going to write everything out so that I don't start doing too much in my head and making any mistakes. So first we have negative, negative 4, plugging in negative 4 for b, plus or minus the square root of negative 4 squared. Really important that I'm using parentheses here because the entire value of b is being squared, including the negative minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is 3, and all of that is going to be divided by 2 times 2, substituting in 2 for a. So let's start simplifying. So this negative out here, the negative in front of b that starts off our formula, that tells me I'm changing the sign. So this minus negative 4, let's switch to a different color so it's easier to see, this minus negative 4 is going to become a positive 4, plus or minus. Now negative 4 squared is 16, and then minus 4 times 2 times 3. So 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 3 is 24. And all of that is divided by 2 times 2, which is 4. Okay, so we're getting closer. So at this point, I'm going to simplify what's inside of the radical and also separate the two parts of my numerator. So I'm gonna make this four over four and then radical 16 minus 24 over four. So I'm splitting this into two fractions with a plus or minus in between them. So this would be four over four plus or minus. Now 16 minus 24, that's gonna give me a negative number, which tells me that my solutions here are non-real solutions or complex solutions. So I will have some i involved somewhere in my um, final answer here. So the square root of 16 minus 24 is negative eight, and that is over four. All right, so now we're gonna simplify each of these um, separate terms, these fractions, a little bit more. So 4 over 4, we know that that simplifies to just 1. Square root of negative 8. So I can take out a couple of things here. First of all, since there's a negative, I can take out an i. So I have i radical 8 over 4 because the square root of negative 1 is i. It's imaginary. Let's move this over here to complete this. So 1 plus or minus. Now can this be simplified further? Is there a perfect square that is a factor of 8? Yes, 4 is a factor of 8. So I can think of this radical 8 as, let me write this over here, radical 8 I can think of as radical 4 times radical 2. I can simplify this radical. The square root of 4 is just 2. So radical 8 is equal to 2 radical 2. So I still have this i out in front, so I'm going to put the 2 and the i together. So 2i, and then I have a radical 2. And that's still divided by 4. Okay, we're almost done. Final, final step. I can simplify a little bit more here. Um, 2 over 4 can be simplified because 2 is a factor of 4. So this I can simplify as 1 
over 2. Since 2 is a factor of 4, 2 times 2 gives me 4. 2 times 1 gives me 2. So my final answer is 1 plus or minus i radical 2 over 2. Or you might see this written as 1 plus or minus 1 half i radical 2. So just taking this out um, as a fraction in front of your radical.